Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear a boy telling a friend about plans for his birthday. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm having a group bike ride and then a picnic in the park. I know it's the same as what we did last year, but I don't think that matters. I wanted to have all my mates from college and my football team, but it wouldn't be a good idea to have so many people riding together. So I'll have to choose between them, which is a shame. I'm sure it'll be fun, whoever comes. You're right. I hate having to make decisions like this. Anyway, you'll come, won't you? Of course. Now listen again. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm having a group bike ride and then a picnic in the park. I know it's the same as what we did last year, but I don't think that matters. I wanted to have all my mates from college and my football team, but it wouldn't be a good idea to have so many people riding together. So I'll have to choose between them, which is a shame. I'm sure it'll be fun, whoever comes. You're right. I hate having to make decisions like this. Anyway, you'll come, won't you? Of course. Nine. You will hear two friends talking about a football match they went to. Did you enjoy the match last night? I have to say I thought it was pretty dull. Oh, I don't know. Most people seem to be enjoying it, me included. Although, there weren't nearly as many people watching as there normally are. The cold weather might be the reason for the low numbers. And the people who were there weren't too happy with some of the things the referee did. He had some difficult situations to deal with. I didn't think he did too badly, actually. Anyway, at least our team won. That's what matters. Now listen again. Did you enjoy the match last night? I have to say I thought it was pretty dull. Oh, I don't know. Most people seem to be enjoying it, me included. Although, there weren't nearly as many people watching as there normally are. The cold weather might be the reason for the low numbers. And the people who were there weren't too happy with some of the things the referee did. He had some difficult situations to deal with. I didn't think he did too badly, actually. Anyway, at least our team won. That's what matters. Ten. You will hear a man telling his friend about a skiing holiday. I'm never going skiing again. Why? You look like you were having a good time in the photos I saw on the internet. They were taken at the start of the holiday. I was so excited then. So, what happened? Everything was fine until someone suggested trying one of the more advanced routes. I've never been so scared in all my life. It was too difficult for me and I had to give up halfway. I nearly hurt myself hitting a tree. The others all found this very funny, which made me feel pretty silly. Oh dear. Now listen again. I'm never going skiing again. Why? You look like you were having a good time in the photos I saw on the internet. They were taken at the start of the holiday. I was so excited then. So, what happened? Everything was fine until someone suggested trying one of the more advanced routes. I've never been so scared in all my life. It was too difficult for me and I had to give up halfway. I nearly hurt myself hitting a tree. The others all found this very funny, which made me feel pretty silly. Oh dear. Eleven. You will hear two friends talking about cars.
I hear you just bought a new car. How did you decide which one to get? Well, I often watch that TV show about cars. You know, the one with Ben Clark, where they give all sorts of information about different models. They mention some useful places to look online where people who've bought new cars give their opinions. I'd always rather see what car owners say than trust adverts or stuff on TV. Anyway, they were all pretty positive about the model I was hoping to get, so I went for it in the end. Now listen again. I hear you just bought a new car. How did you decide which one to get? Well, I often watch that TV show about cars. You know, the one with Ben Clark, where they give all sorts of information about different models. They mention some useful places to look online where people who've bought new cars give their opinions. I'd always rather see what car owners say than trust adverts or stuff on TV. Anyway, they were all pretty positive about the model I was hoping to get, so I went for it in the end. Twelve. You will hear a woman telling a friend about a singing competition. How are things going with preparations for the singing competition? Well, there are some strong singers this year, so I'm glad picking the winner's not my job. I mean, how do you go about choosing? Have you ever thought about entering a singing competition yourself? I think it's more fun watching and making comments about everyone else. And anyway, being in charge of the whole thing, I've more than enough to do, I can tell you. I'm spending ages sorting things out, including most evenings, but I love it. I'm sure it'll be great. Now listen again. How are things going with preparations for the singing competition? Well, there are some strong singers this year, so I'm glad picking the winner's not my job. I mean, how do you go about choosing? Have you ever thought about entering a singing competition yourself? I think it's more fun watching and making comments about everyone else. And anyway, being in charge of the whole thing, I've more than enough to do, I can tell you. I'm spending ages sorting things out, including most evenings, but I love it. I'm sure it'll be great. Thirteen. You will hear a woman talking to a friend about her recent move to a city. Are you happy about your move to the city? Well, my neighbours are very quiet, but there's a lot of street noise from all the shops and restaurants. I suppose everything's nearby, so now I can walk everywhere which means I'm actually fitter than when I lived in the countryside. I hadn't expected that. I do sometimes wonder whether this is the right area for me, but once I've got to know more people, I'll be able to decide if it's the sort of place I'm going to be happy in. Why don't you come round soon? I'd love to. Now listen again. Are you happy about your move to the city? Well... My neighbours are very quiet, but there's a lot of street noise from all the shops and restaurants. I suppose everything's nearby, so now I can walk everywhere, which means I'm actually fitter than when I lived in the countryside. I hadn't expected that. I do sometimes wonder whether this is the right area for me, but once I've got to know more people, I'll be able to decide if it's the sort of place I'm going to be happy in. Why don't you come round soon? I'd love to. That is the end of part two.